Our first guest has a unique perspective on the Rays and Major League Baseball in the area. Christian Arroyo grew up, graduate of Hernando High School. You might remember he was traded for Evan Longoria from the San Francisco Giants this winter. Um, Christian, you're in the unique perspective. Growing up in an area with a Major League Baseball team, what did that mean for you as you were playing Little League and going through and playing high school baseball? I mean, it meant, it meant the world to me. Uh, obviously, I grew up a Lightning Bucks Rays fan, so it's kind of been a part of my DNA my whole life. Um, getting to put the uniform on that my favorite players growing up used to wear, I mean, it's definitely special, but uh, I have a different I have a different idea of it, obviously, from uh, from coming from from Tampa and, and getting getting really the chance to watch watch this team do some incredible things, going from the World Series to the playoffs and and uh, seeing the draft picks that they could get. I mean, it is it's been truly special. But uh, you know, I know that the city gets behind their guys when they're winning. You know, and and, and we have a good team. Uh, I know there's been some tough moves we've had to make, but. Uh, you know, it's uh, we've got a lot of young guys coming up through the system that are that are really good players in the lower level of the minor leagues, even at the higher level. And you see some of them here uh, with Willie Adamas and uh, and D. Rob, even though he had just gotten hurt, but uh, Jake Bowers and a bunch of other guys. You know, I mean, it's just it's it's really it's it's really exciting time to be a Rays fan and uh, to even play for them, just because really, I mean, we've got a lot of potential and we're looking forward to. Uh, to you know, coming together and winning together, and then um, seeing where, where it takes us in the next couple of years. We live in an area which is unique because there are so many young people coming up playing baseball around here that get drafted, go to Division One colleges, and, and so forth. But we all know that uh, you know, even in the good times when the Rays were headed to the World Series, this team has, has struggled to get to fill the trap. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Um, I mean, for me personally, when I was younger, I never really knew what it meant. Um, obviously, uh, when I was younger, growing up, I was about 20, 25 minutes away, so it wasn't a far drive for me. I know for some people, sometimes during that rush hour traffic, it's hard to get over here. But, you know, I really just, I don't really know what it is. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to really explain. I mean, uh, I, I know there's been talks about moving the stadium and whatnot. Um, I've heard, I've heard of of, uh, of the ideas of where they want to move it to. I personally know the area very well. I think it'd be a great place to put a stadium. Um, I know a lot of people go there a lot. I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's right down the road from Amelie. So obviously, uh, people have seen what what's gone on with Amelie and, and what's happened whenever you know the Lightning just started doing their thing and making runs at Stanley Cup championships. So. Um, you know, I think uh, I think if, if, if it was to move, I don't think that it would be a negative thing. Obviously, uh, for the people of St. Pete, it might hurt a little bit just because, you know, it is so close to where they live. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, baseball is a business, so uh, it happens from building stadiums to the pricing of the tickets to putting players on the field. So, um, I mean, it's 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 a uh, it's a decision that I'm sure the uh, the business guys up front are going to make and then you know as a player you just gotta you just gotta keep playing your game and, and, and know what what you're here for and that's to win baseball games how would you describe the difference in atmosphere between uh you know being on the rays and being on the giants uh it's just it's different i mean the giants organizations obviously uh, it's a lot more historic just because it's been around a lot longer um it's different obviously it's different for me too because i grew up a rays fan so it's it's uh, my perspective doesn't change much just because it's still baseball. So uh, the Giants organization was great. They treated me with the utmost respect. Um, I mean, they treat their players with the utmost respect, and that's the same that's been here with the Rays. So I mean, there's really no difference when it comes from that standpoint. I mean, obviously you're on the East Coast over here, and you're on the West Coast. So uh, I mean, besides that, I think the the stadium's a little bit a little bit newer over there. Uh, AT and T's a beautiful place to play, and then the Trop over here. It's going on what 20 years now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just different. They're different places, but um, it's same East Coast, West Coast. It's it's hard to it's hard to really compare them to. We're all you know the Tampa area, all the way down to Sarasota, all the way down to Fort Myers. It's almost like the headquarters of spring training baseball. Mm -hmm. And it, do you think it's like a totally different environment when with all these teams in one central location, uh, and during those couple of months a year, uh, you know, you, you could feel it in the air around here. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, having spring training in Arizona the past six years was definitely more convenient just because everyone's close to each other. But, uh, you know, down here, it's I've never really experienced spring training down here. It's a lot more traveling um, and you play. It seems like you play the same teams a lot more often. We played pretty much the Twins, 
the Red Sox and the Orioles just about every day, especially in minor league camp. I know in big league camp, you'll get around to the Yankees and you'll play the Phillies and stuff. But for the minor league side, we really only played three teams. So was, that was a little different. But uh, no, I mean, going down from Sarasota into Port Charlotte and all that, I mean, yeah, it's spring training comes around. You know, a lot of people are stopping to go catch a ball game. Is it kind of surprising to you that so many major league players are born and raised right around here and you know you you play high school baseball around mm -hmm. here you know a lot of these or a good a number are going to be drafted um, and it's kind of unique because other parts of the country it's not that way yeah I mean I think uh, I feel like baseball is, is kind of always been a, a strong sport of Tampa I mean it really in, in Tampa every sport we have athletes of every sport basketball baseball football it really doesn't matter but uh, it's the same with like Texas and California. You get a lot of areas where there's a lot of good athletes that come out of it. I think Tampa's just kind of been like a melting pot area where a bunch of guys have come in. Um, there's been good talent. There's been good high school teams. I think that's really important too. Is there's a lot of really good high school teams around. You got Alonzo, Jesuit, TC, Plant. I mean, the list goes on and on. Jefferson just won a state championship. So, Venice. I mean, you just won the state yeah, championship. or Venice did. Yeah. So I mean, you got you got a bunch of different teams, local high school teams that are competing and putting guys in the next level. That's and if that's what a kid's dream is, they're going to try to find their way to get to wherever they can to go to college or get drafted or whatever. So. Um, no, I just think Tampa's always kind of been an area where guys have just excelled athletically and academically as well. But, uh, you know, I just think it's kind of become an area where there's a lot of, a lot of really good talent coming out here. So there, right now the Rays are bringing up a lot of young players from the system, seeing what they can do, mm -hmm. including y yourself. What would be your message to uh, Rays fans out there who you know, want to hang in with this team and want to mm -hmm. see this franchise grow? I mean, it's, it's obviously – seems like a transitioning period to most fans it's that's kind of how you know that's how kind organizations go um with the trade of of longo i mean it's always tough because that's your franchise guy he's been around he's been a household name for 11 seasons now so it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to 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 come to terms with the fact if he's no longer here but you know sometimes organizations have to make moves i mean we got Willie Adamas out of the David Price trade. We got Jake Bowers out of the Will Myers trade. I mean, we've gotten a lot of really good players from trades that we've had to make that are necessary. And I feel like it's now kind of flipping the script and turning back to whenever they made the playoffs. And they made it with Longo and Price and when Archer was younger and all these kind of guys that were coming up through the system and performing and playing well and, and really enjoying me around each other and winning together. You know, it's just it's just a part of the business that it stinks, but it's just it has to happen. But you're replacing a Rays legend, and this is now your opportunity to, mm -hmm. to, you know, play for your hometown team, but mm -hmm. also become the the face of of this ball club. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to go out there and play and have as much fun as I can with these guys. I mean, they make it easy on me. You know, I don't, I don't ever come out with the intentions of trying to become the face of the Tampa Bay Rays or trying to, you know, trying to take over or anything. I mean. It, with baseball, you gotta earn your you gotta earn your stripes and you gotta you gotta earn your keep. So I know I'm still young. I've I don't even have a full year in the big leagues yet. So I'm just trying to come up and really just do what I can do and do whatever I can to help this team win. And then, you know, if the rest of it comes together and you know I become one of our one of our you know our bigger name guys or something, I mean that's gonna take care of itself. For me, I'm just gonna come out, play my game, and have fun with these guys. You know, this is this is an opportunity that you only get once in your life, and really. To think about other stuff, there's really no point. I just come out here, have fun, and then try to play the best I can and best of my ability and, you know, just make memories with these guys that will last forever. All right. Well, good luck to you. We'll be watching. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Christian Arroyo, thanks a lot.